Hi there, this is Ranjit from tech2bus.com and in this video, I'm going to talk about the newly launched Nexus phone by Google. Uh, this new Nexus phone that's launched by Google will be known as Galaxy Nexus and this is made by Samsung. So let's have a look at what this new Google phone brings us to the table. This will be the first Android phone that will run the latest uh, Android operating system known as Android 4 also known as Ice Cream Sandwich. Earlier this phone was rumored to be called by the name of Nexus Prime but now it's going to be known as Galaxy Nexus. The first striking thing about this phone is the gorgeous 4.6 inch display which supports a native resolution of 720p HD and this screen is Super AMOLED HD. As seen in the earlier Nexus phone, that's the Nexus S, even in this, the screen is slightly curved, which makes holding the phone a little bit easier. Apart from the 720p HD screen, we also get a 1.2 GHz dual core processor. Earlier, this phone was rumored to get a quad core processor, but uh, we get a 1.2 GHz dual core processor. Though this uh, phone has just 1.2 GHz uh, dual core processor, uh, the thing is that the Android 4 that's Ice Cream Sandwich is specifically optimized for dual core phones. So you should get great performance with this phone. Again we get a 5 megapixel red facing camera with LED and uh, Google states that we'll have zero shutter lag. So the moment you click the photograph it will be taken, there will be no delay. On the front side we'll have a 1.3 megapixel front facing camera and this phone can record also in full HD that's 1080p. We also get the NFT chip and this phone is bundled with 1GB of RAM. On the storage front, uh, this phone uh, will be launched with two models, that's the 16GB and 32GB. Uh, but do note that there will be no uh, micro SD slot. So expansion of uh, storage is not possible. The battery capacity will be 1750 mAh. Apart from the other features like gyroscope etc, this phone will feature a barometer. This is the first in an Android phone. This new Nexus phone will run on the stock Android, that's Android 4. And if you have a closer look at the home screen, you'll notice that there are no physical buttons on this new Nexus phone. And instead of the physical buttons, we have three virtual buttons. One is for the back, one is for the home, and the last one is for multitasking. And these buttons will also realign themselves based on the orientation of the phone. And if you have ever used an Android tablet that runs on Honeycomb, you'll find these buttons very similar. For example, if you click the multitasking button, all the applications running on the phone will be shown. Another new feature is the face unlocking, which is introduced with this Android 4. And we also get this new voice typing feature, which can help you composing your emails or SMS with just your voice. So do let me know what you feel about this uh, Galaxy Nexus. Do you like it or not? And if you're going to purchase the same, please share your comments in the comment section below. That's it for now. This is Ranjit for tech2bus.com and hopefully I'm going to see you in my next video.